Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with one Asia Order of Merit winner, Andre Stoltz, at Kawinda Waters Golf Resort on the central coast of Australia. Andre's gonna teach us how to choose the right clubs and be more consistent with our chip shots so that we can maximize our distance control. If you haven't watched video one in this chipping mastery series, you can watch it here. And once you've finished this video, be sure to watch video three in the series, which you can do here. And before we start this video, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how to choose the right clubs so we can be more consistent with our chip shots. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Andre, we've had two great questions from the viewers. What club should I use when chipping? And how can I become more consistent with my distance control? What advice would you have for the viewers? Yeah, well definitely, I guess uh, to recap the video one, um, basically what we're trying to do is get that nice narrow stance with the weight on the forward leg. We're gonna have a little minimal wrist hinge going back and we're just trying to pivot around that left leg and just hold our finish like that. So I've got a great drill for you, it's called the four club drill. Okay, let me show you how it works. First of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with the eight, nine wedge and the sand wedge. So we need four clubs obviously, 16 balls. I've made a nice little triangle there with some um, illuminated string there so you can see it nice and clearly. So we start off with the longest club and basically what we're trying to do Again, maintaining those, those thoughts we had about uh, the basic chipping technique. And we're trying to land it in that uh, square and just let it run out. So then what we do is we go through each club with hitting 16 balls, four balls with each, and that'll give you a good idea of how, how far the ball's gonna roll out landing in that spot. It's a great way to implement the chipping technique we've showed you on the golf course, and it'll help you pick your club and hopefully get you more consistent and ball finish close to the hole. Okay, that was the nine iron. I've done the eight and nine, now I'm up to the wedge. Just trying to land it all in those spots, mate. And that one's not too bad either. Okay, Mira, this is the last one here. So we're down to the sand iron. I've hit all the other balls. Landed there in the square. So this, this drill, again, is all about trying to get you a good feel for what's going to happen on the golf course and try and help you pick which club you're gonna use when you're out there. So as you see in these groupings, you can see these ones here are my sand wedge, the 56. They're, the next group's the pitching wedge, the nine iron, and the eight iron. So pretty good groupings there. And obviously if you've got a few scattered on either end, you can get rid of the, the variable ones on the outside. But generally this should give you an idea of how far each club is gonna roll out on the course using that same basic technique, for pretty much the same way, way for every club in the bag. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful. Or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University skill assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also wanna personally invite you to join our 19th Hole Clubhouse and Golf Channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet, and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th Hole for free at the 19thhole.club, or click the link in the description below. As a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like myself, 
you can also join our members only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another episode, then leave a like and a comment below, and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too, so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.